Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Today we are cycling all the way from Amsterdam to another nearby town called Facep. So come along for a little cycling adventure. Good morning. It's a bright and beautiful spring day in Amsterdam and instead of having a relaxing morning, I've dragged my husband out of bed to come with me to take some pictures. It's June and there are roses blooming all over the city, so naturally I feel like I have to come and take some pictures of how beautiful it is. I spotted this gorgeous little corner on one of my walks and couldn't resist coming back with my camera. Then of course, you know, I had to have some pictures of myself for Instagram. We just took some pictures outside with the roses because I wanted some Instagram content and it's such a beautiful day so we're kind of trying to decide what we want to do and now Jonathan is saying he wants to cycle to a city called Vasp. Now are you sure <laughs> you want to cycle to Vasp? That's 16 kilometers that's it's gonna take it says on Google Maps it's gonna take like an hour to cycle there. Uh, we did it last year and it took us way longer than an hour. So are you sure that's what you want we to do today? Nothing else to do. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Do it. <laughs> There's nothing let's, else. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay, I've changed into more cycle-friendly gear, uh, and I'm taking our lunch water bottles and I think he's downstairs getting the bikes ready. He's lowering the seat on my bike um, because I'm a very short person and the Netherlands is not made for short people and neither is my bike. So he's lowering the seat on my bike and yeah we're getting ready to go on a long cycle. So hopefully it won't be that strenuous and it'll just be fun. Hey, what's going on? Hey, just trying to pump the tires up. Give him a nice pump. Yeah, can't adjust the seat height though. Really? The front wheel deep needs a pump. Ready? <laughs> When we first moved to Amsterdam, we were both pretty nervous about cycling in the city. If you've ever been here, then you know the cyclists and the traffic can be kind of intense, but the pandemic gave us this perfect opportunity to really learn how to cycle around the city without a lot of traffic or tourists, and we eventually gained confidence on our bikes, and now we love cycling around the city. My bike keeps making this grinding noise, so we're trying to figure out why it's, it's doing that. Noise. Even though I'm used to cycling in Amsterdam these days, I still get really excited when I get the chance to cycle outside of the city. You can go in pretty much any direction, and it won't take too long before the city turns into countryside, and there's nothing better after cycling in Amsterdam for a really long time, then going on a nice, leisurely cycle in the Dutch countryside. Finally made it. Gosh, 
gosh, I'm sweaty now. All right, do you wanna do you wanna leave our bikes yeah. over there? Thank you. Oh, so it's about 2.30 now, so it took us a little over an hour, like an hour and 15 minutes. We did have to keep stopping to fiddle with the bikes because we have terrible bikes. Um, yeah, not, not bad time. I thought it was going to take us a lot longer, but... How long did it take? Like an hour and 15 minutes, not roughly. Too bad. Yeah. And it's beautiful. So I think now we're just gonna leave our bikes here and just kind of walk around and see Vasp. I always want to pronounce the name of this town like Wisp but it's actually pronounced more like this. It's a really small, beautiful town. It has a population of around 20,000 people, which is crazy for such a cute town so close to Amsterdam. Uh, it's also really, really old. It was granted city rights back in the 1300s, which is just absolutely insane to me. After all that cycling, we were pretty hungry, so we got our packed peanut butter and jellies out, drank some water, and just kind of chilled out for a few minutes in the sun. We always try to pack our lunch when we go on little trips like this because food is expensive, so saving a little money by eating a peanut butter and jelly is what we are about because we are balling on a budget. Vasp is one of the most idyllic Dutch towns that I've been to. It's so picturesque with its small bridges and lily pads. And I think if we ever had to move to a different town within the Netherlands, I would want it to be Vasp. I just love Vasp so much. It's so quiet, like this is a sunny Saturday, but yet there's hardly anybody out. If this were in Amsterdam, you wouldn't even be able to like there would be so many people, but there's just like nobody here. And look, look, look how pretty. favorite things about VASP are the windmills and this windmill that you see here is an operating flower mill and on Saturdays you can go inside and purchase flour that was produced on site which I think is pretty cool. Oh it's closed today. Dog. Oh! Whoa! 
<laughs> Swans are scary. <laughs> After walking around for a bit, we decided we were ready to go, so we headed back to our bikes. All right, here we go, a long way back. Are you ready for this? No. It's, it won't be that bad. I hope we're with the wind. Oh, it was in fact that bad. The wind was clearly against us this time. Also, the maps took us back a different way up these bridges. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty. <laughs> We're clearly not conditioned for bridges of this size and steepness. <laughs> so much better going down. We are back. I'm exhausted. The sun was beating down on us the whole way back. And then the Google Maps took us this weird route. So it was stressful once we got back into Amsterdam, going all down these busy roads and tons of people are out because it's sunny and we are just exhausted. So I am dripping in sweat. So I'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna make some food. We ended our day with a cup of tea, a biscuit, and then we made some sushi and just watched Netflix for the rest of the evening. And it was utter bliss after feeling like we earned this relaxation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little vlog, and I plan to make a lot more, so please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you all again soon. Ta-ta!